Welcome back to Ginger Sadie's Crafts. I'm Mercedes. I have a fun video for you guys today, something a little different. I thought I would share with you some awesome finds that I got from my local thrift store. I've made a couple of trips there looking for some items to craft with and maybe some home decor pieces. So I thought I would share with you guys what I find and what my plans are for some of these items. So you can go look at your thrift stores to see if you can find anything fun that you can craft with as well. So the first item I have is actually a sign. But what I bought it for is for the flip side to make a tray. So I'm going to take this piece off here and then I'm going to put something here on the bottom and use it to make a little tray. How cool is that? And this was just a dollar. And then I also purchased this sign here. I'm going to paint the edge and then put something here in the middle as well. And this I purchased and it was only a dollar. I found this really cute little yellow pot. Um, I'm not going to keep it yellow. I'm actually going to paint it um, probably white and put some flowers or something in there to display in my kitchen. And that was a dollar fifty, which I think is kind of pricey. And ironically, it it says imported by Greenbrier, so it came from the Dollar Tree. I don't ever remember seeing anything like this, so maybe it's like super old Dollar Tree. I don't know. I found this really cute. Look at that, like a milk canister that um, is blank in the back. So I plan on doing something with this probably for Christmas. I'm probably going to make a little label and some ribbon and maybe put like a little tree in it. I think that would be super cute. And then I found this bucket. It has a chalk sign here, but I'm probably going to cover that up. And it was 75 cents. I also found this um, painting. So I'm actually, I'm not keeping it for the painting. I bought it for this wooden frame because I'm going to take the canvas off and make um, like a reverse canvas picture. So if you guys want to do that craft with me in another couple of weeks, go get yourself a cheap canvas painting from your thrift store and then take it off because we're going to be using the frame. And this was $2, but that's okay. It's a really nice thick frame. And then I found this piece and this is solid wood. Like check that out. I don't think that is. I'm hoping to be able to take this acorn piece off. It might not, and if that's okay if I can't because the back sign is solid. So I thought this was really cool. I thought I could do something fun with this, make a nice sign for it. This one was $2. I also found this, um, just like a wire basket, and it's not like a cheapy wire. It doesn't bend, it's, it's like metal. And this one was, how much was it? $1.50. So I'm actually going to use this on my front porch because I'm trying to decorate my front porch. I have a big front porch trying to make it look nice and welcoming. And then to go along with that, I found this really cute other little metal displace uh, planter stand. And this one didn't have a price on it. I think they gave it to me for a dollar, if I remember. And then I also found this piece too. It needs to be cleaned up a little bit. It's a little dirty, but I thought it was really pretty, this little pot. I'm not going to DIY this, but I will put some sort of plant inside and display this probably out of my front porch too, because it's really pretty. And then I know I'm sure you guys have been having a hard time finding candlesticks at the Dollar Tree because your girl cannot find candlesticks to save her life. So check it out. I found these. I'm obviously going to take this piece off and then I'm going to paint it. It was $1.50 and I'm going to use this for making like a tiered tray or a display stand. So there was actually two. And then I found this piece. It's really um, busy, but I figured if I paint it all white, all of it white, it would probably like look more neutral. And I figured this would be really pretty to put like a bowl, like glue a bowl to the top and make a really nice display piece with it. 
And along those lines, I found this piece too. Oh, so this piece was a dollar. And then I found this. And this is really sturdy. And I think this would make a really nice display stand. Or even just put a candle on the top. But I'm not going to keep it green. I'm going to paint it. What color do you think? What do you think I'm going to paint this? I'll uh, give you a hint. I paint a lot of my things this. But this one didn't have a price on it. I don't remember how much they gave it to me for. But probably more than like a dollar or so. And then I found this crock. It's a mainstays, which was Target. It was $1.50. And I'm going to paint this too. And I'm going to use this outside on my front porch. So I'm going to get some white paint. I'm not going to use, I don't think I'm going to use my chalk paint. I'm probably going to get like some of that really sturdy bonding paint that like sticks to plastic and metal and everything that you can use outdoors. And I'm going to spray paint this probably white and um, put some plants in it for my front porch. But for $1.50, I, you know, it's a great deal. Put that down. Let's see what else we got in here. And then I found another candlestick that was $1.50, but I'm going to paint that as well. So if you have a hard time finding candlesticks at the Dollar Tree, go to your local thrift stores. I mean, look at all these different candlesticks that I got. And the most one was like $1.50. So Dollar Tree is $1.25, and these are $1.50, and they're way bigger, and they're sturdier. There's more weight to them. And then I wanted to share as well, if you do some crafting too, I found somebody just, they were all thrown in on a shelf. They weren't in a bag or anything like that. But I found letter stamps. So here's just a couple. So there's, um, there's lowercase and uppercase. And I thought these would be really fun for like when I make a book stack. If I want to put like some sort of wording on it, I can get um, an ink pad and stamp out whatever words that I want to put at the uh, binding, the spine of a book stack. Um, or if I want to do some other craft where I like want to make a sign and make a phrase because um, I don't have a Cricut. Does anybody else not have a Cricut or am I just like late to the party? I just, I don't have one and I just, I can't justify getting one. So I got these stamps. I thought they were cool. And then along the line of stamps, because I love stamps and I love making uh, scrapbooks and cards, I got this really cute snowman. I mean, how cute is he? And he was a dollar. And then I'm going to make a tag. And this one says, just for you. And it's got balloons. And it says, just for you, which I think would be fun to make little gift tags when I get out, give out gifts. And then I also found this stamp here that says, congratulations. And the congratulations stamps was 75 cents. The just for you was a dollar and the snowman was a dollar. And then I also found in there as well, this really nice tin planter. It was a dollar. And I think this would be really cute to do something with, maybe make a little sign or put a little picture on there and maybe some ribbon or some twine. So that you'll see, I'm sure, in a craft as well. So, you yeah, know, so all sorts of really great craft ideas. Oh, one more thing. So I also found picture frames. 75 cents and a dollar, even though they look exactly the same. I'm not sure why one's more than the other. But these are really nice picture frames, and they're nice and thick. So if you have pictures that you want to display, check out your local thrift store. These are way better quality than you would get at the Dollar Tree. And they're thicker and they're actually cheaper. I mean, even the dollar one that was a dollar is still 25 cents cheaper than the Dollar Tree. And if you don't like the color, you can always paint it and paint it whatever color you want. And then you can use it for your pictures. Or like we just did that uh, tray DIY on uh, Wednesday, you can take this Put something on the bottom, like here, like a pattern paper or scrapbook paper. Glue the little wood beads to the back here. Take this piece off. And then you can also have a cute tray to display things on as well. And it's nice and thick. 
So if you can't find anything like a Dollar Tree, check out your local thrift store. You can find some really nice picture frames there that you can use as a picture frame or you can use it as a tray to display your items. How cool is that? So anyway, thank you so much for watching my video today. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. Also comment down below. Let me know what your favorite item that I found at my thrift store was and anything that you might be uh, looking for. Are you guys going to go check out thrift stores now or just stick with the Dollar Tree or, or you're like me, you do a little bit of both. Also, if you haven't joined my family, please do so. I'd love to have you. We do crafting. We do uh, some shopping hauls with some deals that I find, as well as maybe some thrift store finds. If you guys like this video and you want to see more deal videos and shopping video hauls, as well as crafts, comment down below. Let me know, and then I can make sure to post some more videos. Also, the giveaway winner for my 300 subscriber giveaway will be posted on this video, so stay tuned for that. You don't want to miss out. And when the winner, please uh, email me. I will put my email address in the description box below. Just put in the subject heading giveaway winner, and that way I can get your prize to you. I want to thank everyone. -y, everyone, -y. oi, guys, I swear I could talk. I promise I could talk. I want to thank everyone for joining my channel and subscribing. For those of you that are new, welcome. And to those that have been with me for a while, thank you so much for your support. Please also share this video. I'd love to grow my channel to help with more crafts to share with you guys and help my local animal shelter with supplies that they need because that's where I got my girls. And if you don't know who my girls are, they're my rescue puppies. They're Basset Hound Mixes. They are in some of my videos as well as there's a couple of shorts videos with videos of them in there if you're curious. I want to say thanks so much for watching. I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend and I will see you guys next week. Let me find my goodbye button. And until then, goodbye.